Right, so we're going to look at some really complicated quadratics, some weirdo ones. So let's just start off with this one, 2x squared minus 3x minus 20 equals 0. Now the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to do what I call a PAM. So I put P above the 2, A above the 3 and M above the 20. So what I'm looking for is I'm going to start off with looking at PM. So if I multiply P and M together, I multiply 2 and negative 20 and I get negative 40. So now I'm going to look at my AM. And what I need to consider here is somewhat slightly differently. I want two numbers that make minus 40 that add to make negative 3. So two numbers. So I could start with 4 and 10. So if I times 4 and 10 together, I don't get in any way a negative 3. I make that a negative and that a positive. If I add them together, I get negative 6. So that's kind of no good. So I've got to think of other numbers that make uh, 40. So if I think about that, let's just go for, um, I could do 2 and uh, 20. But again, that's going the wrong way. So what about 8 and 5? Now that feels more comfortable. Now 8 and 5, because I want a negative 3, I want the bigger guy to drag this down below sea level. So that's the guy that needs to be a negative because I want it to go a negative. So it has to go below sea level. So the bigger guy has to be the negative and that's my positive. So I times those together, I get my negative 40, which is what I was looking for. And when I add together, I get my minus three. So that's really cool. So now let's just see what I do. Now this is really interesting. I like this method. So I put two X, two X. I don't think about it, I just do that. Because if I've got my two X here, I put two X there and two X there. Equate it to zero if you want. And now I simply put in my minus eight and my plus 15. So my minus eight goes in there, sorry, my plus five. My plus five goes in there. Now I have to consider, is there a common factor in these? And if there is, I need to take the common factor out and you'll see why that works really, really well. I can see two goes into both of these. So I'm gonna divide both, side, both these terms by two and I'm left with this. And that's really good. Let's just test to see if this works. Okay, so I get x times 2x, which gives me 2x squared. And that's what I wanted there. And then I get my constant here. Negative 4 times plus 5 is my negative 20, which I want here. And then I get the middle ones, minus 8x and 5x. So 5x and minus 8x is minus 3x. Boyaka. Get what I wanted. There's my answer. Hope you like this method. Let's try another one in a second.
Right. So what I now do <coughs> is I get that 6x and I just put it in both brackets like that. So I've got my PM here is 60 and I want two numbers that multiply to make 60 that when you add come to negative 11. So kind of that's what I'm looking for. And the obvious one was six times 10 to begin with, but that becomes 16 or four. I, when I do something with that, I can't get to 11. So then I choose four and five, and I know, four and 15, sorry. And I can see that there's a difference of 11 and I want a minus 11. So I make the biggest guy the minus and that means four plus minus 15 is my minus 11. So now what I do is I simply put those values in here that I have here. So I put the plus four and I put the minus 15 equals zero. So you can see that hopefully. Now, the important thing here is that obviously I don't want to leave it like this because that gives me 36 X squared and I want just six X squared. So what I do is I look at common factors and I can see actually in this side, there is a common factor of two. So I can take two out of that and I'm not going to put it anywhere. I'm just going to take it out. And again, here I can see a common factor of three. So I divide both sides by three and I get that. Now, I wonder if that's going to work. Three times two is six. So I get my six X squared, which is what I was hunting for. I also can see that I get my two times negative five, which gives me my negative 10, which you can see here is I wanted here, negative 10. And then of course, let's look for the middle guys. Okay, so that's my four X. And then that is three times negative five is negative 15. Notice it's what this, you've got here. So that means that that becomes negative 11 X. Awesome, it worked. So therefore my answer is this lot here. That is my answer. That's if I were to factorize it. And of course I could find the roots by making each of these brackets equate to zero, but I'm not gonna do it now.